I'm at the craziest trade night that I've ever been to, hunting for every Gen 2 Pokemon. Excuse me, sorry. Wobbuffet, Wobbuffet. Do you have a Wobbuffet? Why? So that I can add them to this. Oh! The Giga Binder, also known as Chad. And if you couldn't tell already, this isn't your normal Pokemon trade night. It's an ugly Christmas sweater trade night. And I think I found the ugliest of them all. What is, this is so gross. You see, I'm on a mission to collect every single Pokemon in the national Pokedex. And if they're not all in this binder by June when card party happens, I have to give chat away to a lucky attendee live at my own event. And right now it's December, 2023. And I wanna get one more generation in before the holiday starts so I can get ahead. So far, I've collected all 151 one Pokemon from the first generation, which seems great, until you realize I still have more than 850 Pokemon to go. And remember, I can't break any master sets that I own, and I can't use any of my bulk either. So, what better way to get a lot of cards in a short period of time than by hosting a trade night before the holidays with some local Pokemon fans and friends? And yo, these holiday sweaters are great. They're actually not so ugly at all, except for that one. <laughs> Anyway, let's set the stage. In the last challenge, I struggled big time when it came to knowing where each Pokemon went in the binder relative to their Pokedex number. <laughs> why is mathing hard? Which is why the night before the event, I wrote down each of the Gen 2 Pokemon and their number and put them into the Giga Binder. In case you're not familiar, Gen 2 includes popular Pokemon like Umbreon, number 197, Lugia, number 249, and my personal all-time favorite Pokemon, Houndoom, number 229. But we're also into the part of the Pokedex that starts to get into the lesser-known Pokemon, like Ledian, Sentret, and Tyrogue. In total, we've got 100 Pokemon to collect today, and unlike last time, because this is a trade night, we're trading for these cards, not buying them all. This will definitely be a challenge. The next day before the event, I arrived at DM and Pop in San Diego, a card shop owned by Shane, AKA Slim's Rips. And I showed off Chad to the crew before the crowd arrived. Oh my God. <laughs> and after the store was filled with people, it was finally time to introduce Chad and begin the challenge. Hey everybody, uh, first of all, thank you so much for coming to trade night and a big hand to Shane and the crew here. Thank you so much. I hope it's cool that you may be in a YouTube video at some point in the future. But anyway, enough talking. I want to show you this thing that was built just for Deep Pocket Monster. So this is the largest binder in the world. Can I get all the Gen 2 Pokemon in here by the end of the night? So if you have some Gen 2 Pokemon, except Miltank, I already have Miltank. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure, but what I do know is people were already jumping in to help. Sebastian is going to start us off with Gen 2 with potentially four cards. Four out of a hundred. That's a great start. We got the Ampharos, number 181. Flaffy, 180, Octillery, 224, and Lugia, number 249. And as Sebastian's looking through my trade binder, it doesn't take long until he finds my reverse hollow Pelipper from Deoxys. A Gen 3 Pokemon for four Gen 2s? That's a great deal. The first four out of 100. Awesome. Awesome indeed. And as I pop these into the Giga Binder, Frank from the Pidgey Boys comes in with a gift. Pokemon number 196, Espeon. Let's go. And when I asked what he wanted for it, are you, are you sure? Thank you for Pidgey Boys. Pidgey Boys, go follow him on YouTube. <laughs> Wait, what was that noise he just made? YouTube. <laughs> Nice. After popping Espeon into the binder, this dude comes up with a couple of cards and I immediately grab my trade binder for him. What's your name, man? Justin. Justin, Justin. We got the Ho-Oh and the Unknown. We're on this thing. He scopes out a full art Entei, which is actually a Gen 2 Pokemon that I need. But remember, I have to trade for them in this round, not just use my own inventory. And although he's reluctant to take it because it's worth a little more, I insist. Yeah, take it, dude. Take it, take it. Take it, I got you. Thanks, man. Appreciate that, man. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Thank you. Good luck with the challenge. Thank you so much. <laughs> Let's go. And as I pop these into the binder, All right, we got the ho oh and the unknown. I still have a little trouble locating exactly where this card goes because it's unknown. Bruh. Sorry, the dad jokes just happen sometimes. Just like when a wild spinner rack appears out of nowhere, thanks to Alex, who sold me a tag team ETB back at card party last year for another challenge. And right then, Justin comes back with a slow king. Why? Oh, are you sure? Yeah. Just because. Yo. Hey, thank you, man. Which was super dope, especially because I think that inspired Alex to just donate the spinner rack too. Thanks, man. Bro, spinner rack. And right then, I was handed a gang of cards by who else? None other than Eddie G. Eddie G from Base Showcase. Eddie G. Dude, we're getting hooked up. And Eddie G brought over the Gen 2 goods. We've got an Ariados, a Steelix, a Celebi, Cyndaquil, Tyranitar, Sneasel, and a Dunsparce. It doesn't take Eddie long to zoom in on a hidden Fate's full art card for my trade binder. Jesse and James, check that out. 
That is a total banger right there. Epoch the Monster, thank you very Yo, much. Yo, thank you, man. I think he's happy, and so am I. Not just because of the trade, but because Nightmare Before Christmas is one of my all-time favorite movies, and Jack Skellington is standing right next to me. But before I have a chance to zero in on him... Bruh. You got somebody here that wants to give you some cards. Oh, for real? No shot. Here, you want to pull something out of the binder? Okay. She showed me a Mareep from Crown Zenith, a Crobat V, and a full Art Kingdra from Fates Collide, which is gonna look beautiful in this binder if she finds something that she likes in mine. In the meantime, these kids with the not so ugly sweaters come up to me and yo, low ski, I appreciate their patience. Bruh. Which ones you got? Sunkered and Sephora? I do need those. And then he lists a couple more. Fanfi, I also need. And yes. Yes, yes, I need them all. First, back to the trade from earlier. She finally finds a gold Sogaleo and the deal is done. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And after adding these to the binder. That's a nice king too. Well, Jack Skellington throws in. Chikorita. And then he hands me a couple more. I'm like, what's this? What's this? What's this? Are you sure? Yeah. Bro. Yo, what's your name? Holden. Holden Skellington with a Chikorita, number 152, Hop Pip, 187, and Fampy, 231. Hey, thanks, man. Of course. I appreciate it. I even offered a trade, but he didn't want it. Amazing generosity. Okay, back to action with the kids. The girl with the reindeer sweater, or wait, is that a llama? I have no idea. Anyway, she pops the Chikorita into the binder for me. Her brother is checking out my binder for the trade, and while I shift things around to insert more cards into the Giga binder, this guy shows me a Croconaw and a Gligar, which I totally need for sure. Yeah, yeah, you, you could check the binder in a sec. And I know I'm busy, but while all this was happening, I also did take notice of this guy wearing all the green here on my left. He's been here for a while saying nothing, but he's been staring at Chad for a while and he's got a large stack of top loaders in his hand. Hmm, I wonder what that's about. In other news, it might've been a mistake to make it a sweater night. I'm sweating, dude. Is that why they call it a sweater? Uh. Anyway. That's my only trade binder, yeah. You didn't find anything? That's okay, you don't have to trade if there's not. Are you sure? Yo, thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. He just gifted me the Sunkern, number 191, and the Sunflora, number 192. Patient and generous. Whoever these kids' parents are, they obviously slay. Okay, I promise that's the last dad joke, at least for the next couple minutes. Next up, the girl with the alpaca sweater shows me a huge stack of cards. Murkrow I need, Sudowoodoo I need, Heracross. Pineco, you have a lot that I need. I give her my binder, hoping she sees something that she likes, when out of nowhere, a wreath Pikachu sweater comes by and hands me a card. Yo, are you sure? And this isn't just any card. It's the Fates Collide Umbreon Full Art, which is a huge pickup. Thanks, man. Umbi Full Art. Right then, I noticed the girl with the sheep sweater getting interested in one of my cards. That's a Meganium. So this is pretty expensive. I know those aren't worth this much, but because you're helping me out so much, I would be okay with the trade if you want. That's yours. All right. All right, for sure, because we made somebody happy, I'm happy, and I'm ready to move on to the next trade with someone I've been curious about this whole time, Green Sweater Guy. And he comes in with some bangers. A Jump Luff, a Togetic, Scizor, two Typhlosions to choose from, and a Porygon 2. Yeah, geez, okay. Um, all hollows, almost all Japanese, and I'm so flustered and excited. Probably go for the Prime. Oh, jeez. <laughs> this is why we protect our cards, people, because of people like me. Anyway. What was your name, bud? Jordan. Jordan. Look at high Jordan. Roller hits. High roller hits. Dude, look at those high roller hits right there. Hopefully, I have something high roller to match in my binder. This is nuts. This is crazy. Oh, and remember the kid who didn't like any of the cards in my binder earlier? Oh, wow. He came back and literally just hands me two cards. Bro, high five. Thank you, man. Okay. Larvitar and Pupitar have been acquired. This kid is awesome. While discussing things over with Jordan for this high value trade, watch the bottom of your screen because it's sort of like magic. You see that? Let's check from another angle. <laughs> it was the dude who gave us our first trade. It's a giraffe ring coming over. Yo, good looking out, man. Okay, Jordan is checking prices on one of the more valuable cards in my trade binder, an alt art Sylveon from Evolving Skies. Plus, he wants my Japanese Paldean students. And you know what? Deal. That's an easy one. Wow, what a pickup right there. That's five in one trade, mostly Japanese, and a prime Typhlosion. The variety in this binder is gonna be amazing. We're doing some damage. All of a sudden, Gabe, the other half of the Pidgey Boys, comes in and tries to sneak a card in while unnoticed. And of course, I notice. Yo, what are you doing? Pidgey Boys for the win. Look at that, Dawn fan. He threw in a few others too, including a Zatu, Cleffa, 
a Raikou, and a Houndoom. I do another quick trade for this promo Entei for my jungle Vileplume, and I start popping these bad boys into the binder. Yo, and this guy from way earlier shows me the Croconaw and Gligar again. I mean, you gotta get something out of, hey, out of my binder, though. Oh. I am really glad he came back. As he's looking in my binder, someone asks me if I need a Blaziken number 257. Chicken, chicken? Uh, that's not Gen 2, yeah. That's right, that's a Gen 3 Pokemon, so we're gonna see that in the next part of this series. But right then, I also realized something. This is teaching me a lot about what is actually Gen 2. The best way to learn is by doing, and this guy is about to learn that it pays to help others because he wants my shiny Mew from Shiny Treasures. Yeah. I know, I know it's heavier on this side, but you're helping me out, so thank you, dude. Boom, trade complete. Right then, I hear another person ask me something. I don't have that yet. And just like before, magic. <laughs> Quagsire, number 195, has been acquired, thanks to the same magician from earlier. Yo, yeah, I'm gonna make you choose something out of my binder eventually. And I pick up a Grand Bull too from Gabe, who's been here the whole time looking for even more. This community is incredible. Everyone wants to pitch in. And right when I was about to count to see where we were at, Oh, what you got? This kid comes out of nowhere with some heat. Espeon, ooh, Azumarill, Feraligator, Delibird. I give him back the Espeon, which we already have, but bro, these are perfect. What's your name? Really? Abraham is helping us out big time, and he's looking through my binder for a trade. Meanwhile, I decide to drop some knowledge from something that I learned in the last video. Yo, did you know that on these older generation cards, the number on the bottom, not the number of the set, but the number on the bottom is actually the Pokedex number? Are you guys knew that already? Okay, I didn't know that. Yeah, I'm still a newbie, but I am learning. Just like how I learned, my face should never be on a sweater ever again. Anyway, right then, Gabe flashes a Suicune. That one, I do, Suicune. We're adding this to the trade, right? I hope so, because man, Gabe's been going all in for me here. And then, Abraham finds something he likes. Moltres, Team Rocket's Moltres, did you do that for these? You sure? Okay, I'm also gonna give you this Jolteon. Abraham, you are awesome, thank you. A huge pickup right here. Then I finally give Gabe my binder. Yeah, take the, uh, I mean, don't take the binder, but like look through it, <laughs> see what you, oh my gosh, we're on a scramble right now. And it didn't take him long to pull out the most appropriate card that he could pull. Take it, yeah. I love that sound, do it again. Again, this community is the best, and the binder is looking awesome. I so think far. you need a bigger oh. binder. Too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> more than one hour has passed already, and more people keep throwing cards my way. And although Gonzo keeps freaking me out every time I see him, that Suicune from Gabe earlier puts us at 44 cards to go. We've passed the halfway mark already. With that said, I know it's gonna come down to the last few less popular Pokemon, and I have to finish Gen 2 by the end of the night. Oh, and watch out, because later in the video, a card I've never owned before will become the new most expensive card placed in the Giga Binder. From here, things start to pick up again. You don't see that every day. We pick up a Reverse Lantern from Legend Maker, Wooper from Paldea Evolve, Wooper, whoop. and then I got a Dark Ursaring and a Fortressist from Superman and his son, who I got to take a picture with afterwards. And it was right then that the most intimidating person in the entire store <gasps> came up to me for a trade. You got a Blossom? Why was I so scared? Because just a couple minutes earlier, I saw her ready to give up on this trade. I need a Blossom. Do you want to find something in my binder? And as it turns out, Glamora, look how shiny that is. She's super sweet. Would you like to trade? This is a brand new card from the brand new set, but we got to shake on it if it's cool. All right, we did a trade. I got a Blossom. After that, Kangaroo Sweater came back to stick a Meryl into the binder, and her brother had apparently gone on a hunt for me too. Oh no, I got the Zatu. I need the Natu. Do not too hot. I do. Yo, and now he's bringing in the dad jokes too? I fire back. Not to rush ahead. Okay, his was way better. Anyway. Let's see, how many do we got? We got one, two, three, four, five. This is going to help out a ton. So he looks through the binder and finds a Hidden Fates Trio Birds promo. Take it. I think that's a fair deal. And wouldn't you know... Oh, look at that. It's in an Ian with Ian sleeve. And look who's right here with me. <laughs> They're always in the videos. It wouldn't be a true DPM video without them. So are you good with that? My Hidden Fates bird for the Gen 2 Smeargle, Natu, Stantler, and Apom. All right, there you go. Oh yeah, shake first, you're right. After that, I pick up a Misdreavious for a Mewtwo, a Pichu, and Smoochum for some base set cards. Appreciate it. And that's when Gonzo comes in, hopefully with some more cards to add to the binder. I don't have any cards. But... You have the ugliest sweater in the house. <laughs> I can't hate though, because if it weren't for Gonzo, this trade night wouldn't have happened. He helped put this together and spread the word for me. Thanks, Gonzo. Okay, let's do a count. Let's see how we're doing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. 30, 31, 32, 32 left. 32 left and it's already 7.30 p.m. at night and the line of people to contribute has dwindled down. I don't know if I'm gonna get this done in time. You have this custom made? 
Yeah, dude, look at it. vault -X. Oh, wow. Huge shout out to vault -X for making this binder for me. And although the Giga Binder isn't for sale, all their binders are legit. So use the code vault -X DPM at checkout and save some money on the next binder for your collection. Speaking of binders, Giga Binder is missing a Magby. And I just traded for one with Eman Collects, who's definitely got the best Christmas drip that I've seen today. After that, I picked up a Bayleaf, Blissey, and Yanma for a Cynthia's Ambition in a signed mill tank. And the fire keeps coming. Shouldn't have made it a sweater night. Little Ian shows me a card that I actually traded away earlier. Meganium? Uh, oh, now I'm getting it back. More trades, let's go. Trading for these cards has been so much fun because every card that ends up in this binder kind of has a story behind it. Meganium. But I wasn't prepared to hear this story. I heard you need a I do, I was just looking at that. This is Ashley also known as Bikini Dratini, and what she was about to tell me blew me away. So this is full circle moment because I met a friend for the first time at card party. Really? They gave me this card. No shot. So. But that's like a special memory for I know, you. But we're friends now. You're friends now, so you can always chat and hang out anyway. Yes. Oh, that's cool. That that's really cool. So, and I think he would also want you to have. Oh, that's so sweet. Okay, well, I would also want you to have something in here. So pick out something that will replace or enhance the memory. Enhance. Yes, plus one the memory. And the memory is what makes this kind of thing so special. With all the people here together at a card shop before the holidays, the conversations we're having, the laughs, the trades, the ugly sweaters, it's all now a memory that we can look back on and enjoy for the rest of our days. And that's why moments like this. I don't trade, I'm not like a trader. I mean, we could we could do the uh, Ursaring yes. to like upgrade, yes. we evolve. Awesome, yes. I love it. Okay, here, take that. And it's with others that our own story evolves. And with that spark of inspiration and 26 more cards to go, the memories just keep on coming. The girl with the dolphin sweater came back with even more. Are you just like working for me right now? You're finding all the missing cards I need? You are so awesome. Great job, mom. Togepi, Quilava, and Skiploom. Nice, you happy? Good. Me too. Then a snubble was handed to me, and he didn't even want anything in return. Appreciate you. With 22 Pokemon left, reality started to set in. Dude, this is coming down to all the baby Pokemon. Yeah. It's gonna be hard. I know. I put a smile on, but I've been here for almost two hours now, and people are already starting to leave. It's gonna come down to the wire here. Alex, hooking up with some Totodile, Shuckle. Two more pickups. This is good. And then he drops a Skarmory too, when all of a sudden, I hear a roar from the crowd. Oh! 19. I don't know what's going on. And yeah, that wasn't for me. Oh, really? That was for a grand prize giveaway, which means we're closing in on the end of the night. This is getting crazy. Even though we're not trying to complete a, like a specific set, we're still coming down to the wire here. We got maybe an hour left of trade night. Hopefully we can finish it up. And it's at this point in the night, I head on over to Shane at the counter to ask her some help. Shane, do you have any um like bulk Gen 2 Pokemon? Bulk Gen 2? Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Really? Okay, sweet. It's loaded. Dude, thank you so much, no man. No problem. Have I appreciate fun. it. We're yes. going to see what's inside. Good luck. And while walking back with the bulk, I saw the guys already working over the binder. We managed to find one of the babies for you. Elekid. Elekid. Dude. Elekid and Remoraid. 17 more to go. Yo, let's go. And while Gonzo started looking through all the bulk, he found one almost right away. Dude, went up. Furret no shot. Where else can you get a furret? From the bulk at DMN Pops. 15 to go. Pillow swine. Yo, let's go. 14 Pokemon remaining and just a little bit of time left. Boom. Boom. We're doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. I think so. We're at 12 left and all of us are starting to search through this bulk together. And as you can probably tell, I'm starting to get a little bit nervous now. And as expected, it's taking a lot longer to find what we need now. And I'm reminded about what Frank said earlier. This is gonna be hard, dude. This is gonna be hard, dude. But just because things are hard doesn't mean we give up. Centre it, let's go. Corsola, boom. Tyrogue, got Tyrogue, I got Tyrogue. We're almost there, dude. Quillfish we need, yes, yes. This pile right here was massive. Dude, this was a huge pickup. Macargo! Macargo. You never thought you heard a chant like yeah. that from Macargo. <laughs> Probably not. And right then I realized I gotta square up with Shane. Shane, how much per card out of this box? 20 cents a card. Would you do 19? No, I'm just kidding. I'm 20 is fine. 20 is fine. 7, 8, 9, 10. $2. Shane, I owe you $2. 
Oh, tax. <laughs> I'll trade a $2 card with Shane after the night wraps. First, I gotta pop these pickups into Chad. This page is gonna go crazy, watch. The pages are filling up, and after I insert the Centret, I check to see what's left. Knock Towel, Ladybot, Ledian, Iggly Buff, Politoed. Speaking of Politoed, Gonzo spots one in a black case, owned by none other than AJ from TCG Trophies. He helped me finish my team up challenge a while back with a huge trade for a Latius and Latios alt art. And if there's one thing I know about AJ, it's that his collection is high tier. All right, would you trade that Politoed? He said maybe, but also asked what else I'm looking for, so I list them off. Hit on top, Wobbuffet, Politoed, Noctowl, Ladybug, Ledian, Igglybuff. Uh, wait, what did you say, Ledian? You have that. No way. And it looks like he has more too, because I see a hit on top right on the top of his pile. Oh, no, it's Japanese. Oh, that's fine. That's okay. Politoed, yes, sir. We scan through the rest of his top loaders just in case. And right then, right when I thought we were done, he pulled out one more card. A card that I've never held in my hands before. Yo, what? I think we got to try for it. A shining Noctowl from Neo Destiny. Moderately played, but look at how awesome this is. As AJ's going through my trade binder, little Ian comes back to show me something. Wait, what do you got? Oh, Lady Ball. We need the Lady Ball. This Lady Ball would be great, just like how Frank and Big Ian chose to dress tonight. Do you guys have matching? No way. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Uh, Did you guys plan that? Nope. You planned it. You totally planned it. Uh, <laughs> anyway, with some huge pickups on the line, little Ian just gives me the Lady Bop, which is awesome. Guys, we got a Lady Bop from Ian and Ian. Then AJ comes back with an offer. He found a few cards in my binder he liked, but they didn't add up to the price of his stack. Okay. Uh, what's the difference I can make up for it? And after some quick math and super quick fingers. Oh, but this isn't that 120? Yeah. Okay, we'll do it. That's basically the price of the knock towel, but man, I really want this shining knock towel in the binder, so I'm gonna do it. Thank you so much, man. Yeah, I appreciate Dude, it. Dude, I appreciate Thank it. You. We are almost there. Thank you, AJ. That was huge, and I know you didn't have to do that. And after sliding that shining knock towel into the binder in slot 164 and the polytoad, I only had two more cards remaining in all of Gen 2, the Iggly Buff and the Wobbuffet. And just as I was adding the Ledian into the binder. No way. A wild Iggly Buff. No way, where did that come from? Where did that come from? The Pidgey Boys coming in clutch with the 50 cent Iggly Buff, no way. 50 cents, but we need it, we need it. That means we're on the last card we need to complete this thing. Wobbuffet. Pokedex number 202. Wobba, Wobbuffet. 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 And I need to find him fast because we're in the final 20 minutes until the store closes and everyone has to leave. Wobbuffet. 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 I can't even say it. First, I check the cabinets. Nothing. I, have, I need one more. I need a Wobbuffet. If anybody has a Wobbuffet, do you have a Wobbuffet? Shane, do you have a Wobbuffet in there? You don't have a Wobbuffet? Uh-oh. Does anybody here have a Wobbuffet? Nothing here either. This is not good. A Wobbuffet, not a Boba Fett, a Wobbuffet. There aren't that many people here, and I think everyone here knows what I'm looking for. Wobbuffet, Wobbuffet. Oh man, if we don't find a Wobbuffet. We don't find a Wobbuffet. We don't find a Wobbuffet. If we don't find one, I'm gonna be crushed. And with five minutes left before the store closes, while desperately searching through people's binders, this happens. Oh! I got Yo, hey! Where's he going? Yo, thank you. We did it. All Gen 2. Let's go. And with Wobbuffet finding its new home in the Gigabinder. Hey, we did it. Look at that. Gen 1, Gen 2. Generation 2 is officially complete. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yo, thank you so much for that. I appreciate you. What are you doing Gen 3? Um, in the next video. Hit subscribe so you don't miss it because in the next video, trade night gets even crazier. I don't want to lose my Charizard. <laughs>